here we are day two of the repair day 14 of the lawn and this over here is incredibly long it needs to be cut and you can see some of the bare spots that I worked on the other day and I swear there's already new grass growing in there maybe it's just some of the seed that was left over from before and it's just deciding to come up now I see somebody decided to tromp through my yard Huh, look at that. Mailman. Way to go, a-hole! All right, so we're on day 16 for the lawn, day three for the repairs. Still no germination on the repairs and bad news on the lawn. Today I was checking out the lawn and I happened to notice dead grass. Not good. So let's check that out. I think that it's Pythium, could be gray leaf spot. I think it's Pythium, either way. I don't have time to take care of it, but I know it's gonna kill the lawn if I don't. So I've got somebody coming out Friday to take care of it once the rain is over and all that. Now a lot of you on the East Coast could be dealing with the same thing because we've had just a lot of water, especially recently. And the temperatures until this week have really been you know up in the upper 80s and still in the 90s so the combination of all that moisture and all that heat is just prime time for mold and fungus to grow and lawn disease so the guy came out to treat today while i was at work and i got home and found a little pamphlet on the door that said he came and applied heritage g i went and started doing some research of my own and kind of went on uh, Syngenta's website, who is the manufacturer of Heritage G, and uh, read up on it a little bit. It works on a DG system, like the humic acid I used. Uh, the, the prills are tiny, and uh, they just break up instantly as soon as water hits them. They break into thousands of little tiny microparticles, and, uh, which is great because it means it soaks into the yard really fast. They're trying to make it as much like a liquid app in a granular form as possible. So what that does is, uh, yeah, it says it only takes like two to three rotations of your sprinkler heads and it's watered in. So basically Heritage G is an inhibitor of spore germination and mycelial growth. It's best used in the early stages to prevent it from spreading. You know, that's what I said. It's more of a preventative than a curative, but I'm going with what they put down. I really got no choice at this point. So, however, there is another one called Subdue Max that if this doesn't work, that they're gonna put down the next time. And Heritage G is absorbed through the leaf blade and through root uptake. So as soon as it hits the leaf blade, it's instant protection uh, from further spread and infection. And as it is soaked up through the roots, it works its way up through the plant vertically from the roots all the way to the top. And uh, that prevents further infection and that prevents spreading as well. So basically what I got from all of that is what's green is gonna stay green. I just gotta worry about making what's not green, green. So I got to do that anyway. We've had rain since I did my repairs and I have some more repairs I got to do. However, there's no rain forecast for like the next 10 days. So I can control what water hits the ground, which is what I've been wanting. So hopefully this time next week, the whole yard will be green, looking good. So basically, Everything that's green should stay green. So, this is the trouble spot. And this is where the runoff is. But you can see the brown tinges of everything up in here. So, like I said, that should be stopped. So, just got to fill this little bit in right here. Just smooth it out a little bit overseed the this area and then once i'm done with that let it sit for a week see how she looks 
All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. Make sure you hit the circle right here to subscribe. Check out one of these videos over here to help yourself out. Leave a comment down below. Until next time, peace.